What oh, is yeah. up, YouTube? Lazy Llama here, and here we are back with Duckerino here in um, some colony survival. And uh, yeah, what's going well? Wheat has grown, if you can't tell. My fields have grown, uh, and ducks, I believe, has grown. I'm gonna trust my base uh, gonna be safe for a second here. Yes, <laughs> his. his have in to worry about my base actually. Your guy just does it for me. Yeah, you're making me use all my damn arrows. <laughs> Get your. <laughs> You'll need a guy soon oh, enough though, because like. Yeah. You're definitely gonna need one. I can promise. Oh yeah, you that. But I got my guy like got keeping our mind safe. Yeah, I know, I know, and my my guy will you know do what he can, but eventually he's gonna get overwhelmed, and I believe they just shoot what's closest to them. So. Yeah. So I'm recruiting another colonist. Um, puts me at a yellow food, as you can see, which means I've only got 75 food, and that's scary. Um, but he is here trying to grind the wheat that is being harvested. So things are going to go good. Um, we're going to be at a good spot soon. I'm going to actually start ooh, manually picking up all my stuff here. And I'm actually getting all the seeds back, but as well, I'll put the wheat. I think that's the wheat I've grabbed. Um, they're grabbing some too, but I'll put the wheat that I've grabbed in here so you can see it all and see how our seeds go up more than the wheat. Which is what we're looking for, because we want, uh, obviously, a surplus of seeds, because realistically, you're going to need a shop up and a coin maker and stuff to buy more seeds, because you can actually duck, in case you didn't know, you can actually buy um, seeds and whatnot. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, and I think there's actually flax seeds, which I don't know really that they're used for in this, per se, but uh, you can get buy flax seeds for pretty expensive, I think. But, like, wheat seeds, too, so you can get more. Otherwise, you're out, and it's going to take a while to slowly make more. You'll slowly get enough for another field, but like hiring a dude to like farm for not a hundred field, like is it really worth it to have be feeding this dude for that? It's not even gonna produce maximum, you know, product. I guess you could say. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna replant these fields on my own. I'm done planting things, um, unless I somehow put myself in a really bad spot. Um, I'm getting loads of stone bricks out of somewhere. You have, a, you have a miner, right? Didn't you put, make a miner? Yeah, uh, I thought I needed clay for that, though. No, sorry. I thought you were talking about, like, uh, there's stone bricks and then there's, um, I don't know what, what it's called. Clay bricks. Do they call Maybe. it clay bricks? Or is it, like, red uh, brick? Because I know it's, like, normally, like, a red color. I don't actually have it in my crafting menu, I don't think. No, do I. Because we don't have it, but I know it's in the game. Ooh. No, yeah, I don't see it, but, um... Yeah, it is a thing. I thought that's what you were trying to get. No, clay you only need for um, if you're trying to make the other kind of brick, the like the nicer looking one. It just be, I, it'd be weird as a castle. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a stone brick castle too. I don't know how big I want the yeah. castle to be. I haven't decided anything about it, or like the wall around it, because obviously I'm gonna want a fairly big wall too. Uh, I can leave him at work doing this for now. But I go and start my actual place up now. Oh yeah, you're already getting to that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Well, to be honest, I might start uh, it up now while I have. Well, I got the miner getting me the material. Yeah, I I'll probably get a miner now. down there soon, and then I'll, I'm just worried about arrows. I don't know if I need an arrow dude first. Um, a dude mining like iron, and I want to get these two other farmers going first. I think four farms is, would be plenty of like wheat and flour being produced. Wow, I did those two faster than these dudes have done their own one. Wow. But okay, this is for a little example. Out of harvesting 200 wheat, I got 221 seeds. So it seems like you get about 10 extra seeds or so averaging. Um, I got one extra upon that. But 10 extra seeds for clearing uh, out each farm once. Just so you guys know. Oh, I guess they're replanting too. But that'll give you an idea. Wow, yeah, my food went up a lot. Although we don't want to eat that food because we want to turn it into, into stuff. Okay, my food went up to 95. Yeah, I'm actually at a 190, um, sorry, 150 food. Um, because I harvested two extra fields manually. I also have yeah. two two fields being harvested. Like you've only got the one field being sustained. I don't know what one field can sustain. Like I don't know what technically each field brings in food wise. And then never mind what it brings in if you turn it into bread. So. Because just know when you turn that into bread, otherwise if they're just eating that, that's actually kind of bad. I think that's actually why you want berry guys. Because if you do that, then the colonists won't eat the flour. Or the I wheat. The wheat so, 
flowers. I want to start making some uh, berry guys have. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think that's the reasoning for it. Otherwise, like once you get some, like I already have some bread left, so it's not a big deal at the moment. But once my bread's already eaten up, if you have bread left, you'll be fine too. But once that bread's eaten up, they're going to start eating flour or wheat. Um, whatever you have that fills. Actually, flour doesn't count as food. It doesn't look like. It doesn't give any value. Wheat gives 0.4 and bread gives 3. So, like, them eating the wheat is, like, inefficient, though. Because it could be, yeah. instead of being 0.4 value, it could literally be 3 value. You know? So, I guess you could figure out. I guess if it's turned into, um, if all 100 things in one farm are turned into, uh, bread, that's literally 300 food. Um, if not, and they're wheat, it's, you know, 0.4. Yeah, so it's a lot less. <laughs> Very, it's only 40 food. Definitely not worth it if you're not <laughs> making bread. <laughs> For the time it takes. Um, but anyways, I'm at 150 food. This dude's gonna go. I honestly think I'm going to take this job away and give him a furnace to make him go do furnace work. Oop. Make him go do that job and turn... Oh, where are you going, bro? Oh, going back to the flag to reset himself, yeah. Um, so then he should start turning the flour into bread. Is it one flour for bread? Assuming. Ah, uh, what's up? I'm trying to figure out how much flour it takes to make one bread. I'm assuming it's one. I thought I had the guy making bread. Oh, he hasn't deposited time. it yet. That's why that's happening. Who? Wait, oh, I accidentally hit a button and all of a sudden to, to enable fly type set flight. <laughs> Okay, didn't realize there was like a creative mode in there. I hit some button and it like came up in my like chat. <laughs> oh wait, what's this guy doing? So he doesn't have. It'll say. See know, exactly. So you need to get rid of done. him, and you need to actually put a grindstone down because he needs to take the wheat and turn it into flour first. Uh, That's I what see. I was doing. Yeah, I only did like half of my wheat, um, into flour, and then I put down one of the things so I could get more food being made so the next day I can hire an actual grindstone dude so then I have one for each of them and I'm set um, on those and then I can get my two other f farmers eventually um, to get the other fields going and then yeah that's that's pretty much it to be honest that's that's yeah. where I'm going at this uh, I think I want to go one more farm down like this on each that's side that. so I'll go three farms deep um, at the same same value so the five times twenty Oop. But I'll delete the actual area and we'll put it later just to mark it. And then I'm going to build my castle back there. And then I can put more food off to the sides if I need to. Um, but this will give All me right, an idea go. of my my range. Uh, my, I've already started my progress, which I think is going pretty well so far. You started it, you yeah. said? Yeah, yeah I started my uh, castle sort of thing. Oh, okay. I'm I'm really excited to get the build on build on mine as well. Oh, guys are coming in. I'm hoping the archers. Can, I might have to hire more archers. To be honest, I'm worried about my something getting to my base. Yeah. Uh, I think for now, what I'm gonna do again is a temporary protector. I'm gonna put up a slight like overhead. Oh. Oh, I guess you can place on that um, a slight wall like this to make it so anything trying to come on this side has to come around the corner, um, and it'll give my archer time to kind of shoot at him. Um, anything from this side uh, should be good. They should have they should have plenty of time. And again, he's kind of helping out duck space as well, so should be golden with that. Again, well, I have 200 food, so I think I can afford a grindstone guy in the morning. So I'm going to put this down, and I'm just going to buy one just to start grinding the rest of the wheat because we have a ton of wheat that I need to get into the bread. Hell? Did you see that? No, what? Oh, he shot really well. My grindstone guy just flew into the sky. And then <laughs> no, I didn't. I wasn't looking. I to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come so, back? Is he okay? Yeah, he, he's back. He just like, I was just uh, Must have been lag or something. He but flew like... into the sky. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it must have been lag. I don't think you need logs for anything. Do you? I don't think so. Logs and planks, don't they? Well, there's logs that you get from trees, and then you can turn them into planks. But that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, do they do anything else? Like, uh, I don't know. So I'm just they gonna turn. Like I'm turning all my logs. Yeah, I know. I don't like them. Um, there is other trees. You can actually see that there's redwood planks. I could have sworn I've seen other trees too. Um, oh, uh, the redwood planks seem you need like berries in that part. It says. Oh, does it? Oh, actually, that might be look cool. I didn't look at it. That might look 
cool. There's coated planks. Oh, I think that's what the linseed oil is for, isn't it? Isn't that what the um, gypsum does or something like that? Doesn't it? It probably does something like that. Plaster block, maybe. Yeah, plaster block. Right. That's it. I don't know what the plaster block looks for a modern look. That's cool. Black planks, coal, highly flammable. Oh God, I don't think I don't think there's a way to accidentally set loose fire. But so I want yeah I want to come check out your thing while it's nighttime. Um, but, but, but. Oh wow, big area. Holy crap. Okay, so you're doing like a yeah. wall. Is this the wall? I'm assuming. Yeah. And uh, then you're gonna do a castle inside the wall. Yeah, I am. Is this big enough? How big is the castle yeah. gonna be? I'm trying to pic picture your castle. But this is just. Well, this is just the base design. It's obviously going to get extended in a minute. Well, oh, okay, but, okay. Uh, I mean, like, once it gets going and stuff, this is just the base design for it. All right, all yeah. right. So then eventually you'll remove this hut, I'm assuming, and then make a road out to... We'll have to connect our yeah. two areas of the road and stuff, and any other areas we build. I mean, if we decide after we each build the castle that we want to go make some giant castle a little ways away, you know, we could do it. Can I hit that guy all the way up there? I doubt it, but I'm going to try. It's fun to try to snipe him from really far out. Like, he to just for like the height. Oh please dude. Okay. That was getting scary man. You let him... see him him? I don't know which one you're looking at. The one oh, way out there? Oh. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> if I hit this, come on. I don't know how the travel time is or anything. <laughs> so um, it's literally impossible to tell. Because once it gets so far I think it just you don't see it anymore. Or at least I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's the way it's You can't really see the arrow much. Like, it's hard to see the arrow in the air, which, I mean, I guess relatively makes sense. Dude, my guy is popping off shots left and right. I'm I don't know how much the miner guy is doing. Is he actually shooting a ton? It seems like they're all coming from that back forest. The, like, yeah, where I'm going to be building my, my fucking base <laughs> is where they're all coming from. It yeah. seems like. Yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, shoot him. Oh, yeah, I got Shoot him! Oh, he got stuck on the body or something? Or was he coming for me? <laughs> He's dragging the body along with him. Yeah, this one was just kicking the body around too. <laughs> oh, everyone's up. Cool, they're all dead. Awesome. I was watching. That was, that's pretty great. So I'm going to hire another guy now, which I need more beds for. Oh, yeah, I got this guy making bread now. This is good. Yeah, I, I've got a guy making bread, but I, I need a guy making wheat is what I need. So I'm actually going to make a bunch of beds and then just be able to place them when I need them. I just need this guy to keep delivering me my stone so I can get going. Yeah, I don't, that's why I don't want to get it going on anything like that yet. I guess I'll help out a bit. With what? Yeah, and some stone since I have nothing else oh, to do Oh, you now. could. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm... I'm a lazy king, man. Um, I ain't, I ain't doing that. This is their work now. You gotta be active. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be active. It's just I'm gonna be doing more important things. Maybe I'll clear out a spot like down below to find more gold or something. Oh crap! I just recruited two colonists back, and oh my god, whoo! That puts me at a pretty bad food. All right, <laughs> I clicked it once, and it did, I like was expecting it to like be like, oh hey, you recruited colonists, but I forgot it doesn't tell you. Um, yeah, ow, ow. I think I'm going to make it... We, all right, we definitely need more archers. We need more yeah, archers. Yeah, I mean, you got to get some archers, too. I'm hiring another one, so... I got to get a miner, though. Oh, man, I am I should not have hired that other person. But, hey, whatever, now he's an archer. Um, kind of going to be a little inefficient there, especially because I have more food that needs to be planted. Uh, I guess I'm going to manually plant some more food. I don't wanna. Oh wow! I tried mining something. I shot an arrow by mistake. Should I gotta harvest this again? I don't know. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna chance. This food should be up in two days, so I could technically hire one more guy, and shouldn't die. <laughs> I'm gonna go off my slight thought-out logic that I shouldn't die if I hire one more guy to do this other farm for me. That's very, very, very rough. Guesstimate. Recruit a colonist. That puts me at 86 food. Oh, yeah. It just went up to 100 because my guy's still making stuff. Oh, I forgot. He's still making wheat into um, flour and then into bread. So, yeah. I should be okay. I could probably even do one more if I wanted to be real risky. But how much food are you using per day right now? I'm curious what you're up to. Uh, 25. Okay. I'm at 35. So, I've got two more dudes in you. Yeah. All right. That's that's sketchy. I, ain't like, I mean, I do have a lot more food being produced, I suppose. So, I guess... I'm just trying to keep it all 
under control for now. No, yeah, I know. Especially because it's your first time messing around with it. Um, yeah. I would suggest being careful. All right, so it's weird. If I jump into certain spots on blocks, like, you can't go forward for some reason. It, like, messes with it. I don't know if you guys saw that. But I, like, jump forward. my food's forward. going up as it is anyway. Like, I'm at 82 now. I was just at 70, sir. So. Say that again? Decent food. Uh, I was just at, like, uh, 70 food. But now I'm at 93, so I'm getting some decent food. Yeah, they produce a lot. Um, honestly, like, because it takes them a while to produce it. Yeah, like, it seems like they produce... I don't. It's hard to tell how much he actually. They take a good group of flour and they turn it all to bread and then they go put it in the storage box. So it takes a little while for it to happen. I could actually, yeah, I could hire a whole another dude and be perfectly okay. I, I just would like a little bit. Oh, he has no seeds. I have it all on me. I am a douchebag. I'm I... not gonna be building a wall. Huh? I'm gonna be building a wall to keep everything out. Yeah, if you have like one engines coming in. Um, although yeah. you're not even gonna get shit at your thing because I'm the one. You're the that, that damn forest. <laughs> you got the forest. So how would you go up high? Yeah, you went three high. Uh, yeah, for now. I'm like, I feel like that's a decent night. Yeah, I know. I mean, you really only need two high. I wouldn't go any higher than three. I just was curious. Cause I want to make mine look like this kind of the same, so it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I just wanted mine to go like three high, cause so I could jump. Yeah, no, I'm okay with that. Like, I just back. that's what I mean though. I wanted mine to be the same as yours. Yeah. Just so that it didn't, it wouldn't come down here and it'd be like, all right, one half is too high, one half is three high. Like, I know it's just a mine and it really doesn't matter how it looks, but like, come on. Gotta have it semi decent. But I got two archers. Like, I should be perfectly fine with with not having to watch my area. We should be getting a decent amount of zombies now, right? Um, I mean, yeah, I've got seven colonists, and if you have five colonists, I mean, that's eleven colonists. Whereas, I mean. More should be, more. I mean, obviously, even last night more came than we have been getting. So, but I think this, these videos are going to average, I think, around uh, you know 20, 20 minutes. I think. I think this is a pretty good, solid length for one of these videos. Yeah. You get quite a bit of stone just clearing out new land, and I can tell you, you're going to need to eventually, like, instead of mining like one spot, because you're going to need like more um, like coal resource. You're going to need more. You know, gold resource, because gold is what you need to make coins, so. To be able to purchase yeah. anything, you know. That's the way to go. I don't know if you can purchase straight food, but. Well, I recovered, like, nothing. I think this is. This is iron, right? The coal looking stuff is iron, correct? Wait, it is. Yeah, yeah. That's iron? Yeah. Oh. This stuff is. That's Wait, gypsum. I Did I get five oh. gypsum for one mine? Yeah, dude, wow. Is yours like that? I don't remember uh, that. Five gypsum for one mine? Yeah, I'm gonna have gypsum. I wasn't sure if like some resources were like more rich than others. Yeah, one coal per claim. I do. We do need. I'm gonna manually get some coal so I can make more torches. Yeah, that's a good coal actually. I need some. Uh, I gotta watch the time of the day here. I got about ten. I can see the sun up there. Um, so I don't have any gold or what is what is this stuff? What's What's what stuff? Clay. This is clay right here, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I mined a bit. I've got. Oh, okay. Uh, so you haven't found any gold yet either. Okay. Yeah, I have. Right here. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How long does it take to manually mine? Not too long. No. But, uh, is it a lot longer than everything else? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. Like, I wasn't sure if it took longer. Yeah, it's, it's not worth doing that. I don't think. I, ha I had my miner get me about thirty already, so. You have to smelt it before it's, I think, usable. And then I think you need a mint to actually turn it into coins. And then you need a shop key a dude hired to the shop to actually be able to buy and sell things. So, like, you need to be pretty well established before you can even really take advantage of that. Yeah. Right. So I'm getting a lot of iron on my side so far, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I got a decent amount spread out through all the different ores. Well, minus the gold, really, but... Gold, I think, is supposed to be rare, though. I think you're supposed to have to look for it. And it looks yeah. like you got lucky and found a piece. I don't really care to get the shop guys going up yet, anyways. I'm more... I, I'm gonna want a stone guy, and then... Um, oh, I found my own, uh... Thing clay, right? Yeah, I found my own clay, dude. Um, so I think I got everything but gold. It's kind of funny how the clay looks like iron. Yeah, and, and then... That's why the, I it Yeah, no, iron. and then the... This looks like copper, but copper's not even in the game. Yeah, threw me up. I was like, wait, oh. Oh. Uh, See, when I first found, uh, what's it called? Gypsum. I thought that was like a light version of gold. 
Oh. Because then... I right, cool, actually. I'll throw a torch down here. <laughs> give I'll one, give one light down the... Down there. There we go. I don't like how you can't give other people resources. I no, wish there was, there was a way to drop. I'm sure they will. I mean, I don't think... I, I know the next big thing they're working on, I think, is their multiplayer, like, stability. Which, again, with two people, it seems to be running great. I don't know yeah. what happens if you have more than two people. And I know the only way we could really trade resources now... Like, I could place beds down. Like, say you needed beds. I could place a bunch of beds down, and then you could pick the beds up. Um, and then replace them as your own. Um, I but do know that works. Stuff. What happened? Well, you, you can actually... I could you I could let you manually harvest one of my fields. Um, but right. that's that's about it. If, like, I... Yeah. I, I like... You like for some reason like we're gonna run out of food or something. I could be like, all right, I'll unclaim my miner to be or my um, farmer to be, you know, doing this field, and then I'll let you just harvest it all. And then the only thing is, you'd get all the um, the seeds, so you'd have to manually plant it all back, so I could have the seeds back basically. But yeah, yeah, I guess that could be a way to give seeds to people too, is if let them harvest one of your things and then they get all the seeds out of it as well. So. If for some reason, like, you get, you know, a shop keep up, like, really early for some reason, and, like, I don't, but I have, like, a ton of archers guarding the area type of thing, it's like, oh, well, you know. But you I could... reckon if we do a shop keep, we should put in, like, the scent, so it's just, like, available for both of us, so I doubt. Um, I think we each need to have the block placed alone. And you have to actually hire a colonist to buy things, where you just set it what to buy, and it, it buys it. Like, you still have to hire oh, a guy. It's kind of, one. yeah, like, it really makes you use people. Um, <laughs> they don't let you get away easy with it. But uh, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap this up here. Um, we should be fine to defend through the night. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll come back next episode and everything will be destroyed. But hey, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, Duck, thanks for joining, man. Um, no problem. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If so, please smack the like button. And as always, catch you in the next one. Peace.